and welcome everybody here in twitch chat and everybody on youtube for some timo nami jinx that's right we have this unique viewer submitted deck that has three different champions that we have two copies of each with the timo and the nami and the jinx and it's just going to be kind of interesting we have you know a puff cap deck probably first and foremost having chump wump timo puff cap peddler and clump of wumps so we're going to be trying to give our opponent lots of puff caps with those cards um, then we're also going to have two copies of Karina at the top end to help finish out the game, like with the uh, puff caps. But that if that strategy is not working, we got some other chance. We got Nami. Nami works really well with the spells that we're creating, especially if we have leveled up Nami. But Ballistic Bots can be creating the Ignitions, and then also even just these Mushroom Clouds that we're making. Um, so then each of those spells are going to be growing our different units. And then Jinx, if we have an empty hand, um, you know we can refill our hand pretty quickly. And even Super Mega Death Rocket, that's always great. <laughs> and that's a and that's a one cost spell. Goes well with both Nami and Puff Cap Peddler. So I don't know. So exactly how is this gonna work? I'm not sure. We're just gonna kinda, you know, play it, try it out. We also have a good amount of burn to finish the games out. So besides the puff cap damage, you know, we have aftershock, get excited, mystic shot. Those are all direct nexus damage. This thing can do, yeah, knock them down. We do damage there. And of course, the ballistic bots creating the ignitions. So we have, you know, we can keep on pinging the, the nexus and to deal and damage the nexus, and you know, kind of burn them out. All right. So anyway, let's give it, give it a shot. Uh, Timo Nami Jinx. <laughs> this will be unique. Okay. So Riven Victor. These are, you know, like combo decks basically that they're going to be trying to. Uh, we're gonna get rid of that. Trying to just like use their champions and make their champions have a whole lot of power and use a bunch of spells and probably use like ambush and things like that and try to kill us. So cards, so thermogenic beam, harpoon, monster harpoon. These are cards that can kill the champions, so I definitely want to keep them. In. All right, foundations, Timo. Go ahead and report in for me. Scout it out. All right, so the scout says they need more mushrooms. I'm okay with that. When will I find peace? Definitely wish I had one more mana. And we could harpoon right here. And ready. Interesting, interesting. I don't necessarily hate just like playing Jinx and attacking with Jinx. I don't know. I could see killing the Riven. I could see killing... Progress. Killing the Victory. I could see going either way. So they've created two Reforge cards so far, I believe. I assume they're going to give this plus two plus zero with that Reforge card and challenge the Teemo. That'd be my assumption. I'm igniting so we can harpoon. See why we didn't get this peddler in play before playing other stuff. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. I'd be happy with a pass. Prime and ready. <laughs> Okay, so that's the only attack. I did my best. And then I think we can get Peddler in play. And do this harpoon next round. Can you improve perfection? Alright, so the puff cap enabled the harpoon. 
Let's get Jinx in here and just kind of cause some havoc with Jinx. Look, a thing. Hell, that's not ours. Smile! It's called gunplay. Sorry, Karina. Getting that damage in. Join the glorious evolution. The flashbacks will bow, great maker. Nothing's more exciting than an unsolved mystery. Can you improve perfection? An iterative improvement, the peddler. Ah, uh, challenger. Gross. cast this first before it goes away but that means they wouldn't yeah they wouldn't challenge alright so this puts us down to 12 I think I'm blocking right Think about with the Jinx. So we're going to have nine mana next round. Or let's see, we play the team out. So eight mana next round. Less thinking, more pew Three, pewing. six, seven. Well, I think we're blocking. Ruined Reckoner. That could be a problem. That was the third victor. We already killed one victor. So they just had three victors. Not cool. Can you improve perfection? Jinx? Stands for Jinx? Durr. Well, there was a little fella asking for me. The deck looks pretty good though. Like their deck really does. Like it's got a lot of card advantage with like all these discard and draws and you know both Riven and Victor creating stuff. Really good interaction. Like these two regions, you know, give you good interaction spells also. You dropped something. I dropped everything. Ooh, quite a the deck looks pretty good. Oh wow, with the Poro Cannon coming in clutch. That was a clutch Poro Cannon. That's a card I've definitely lost to in this kind of deck before. Victor plus Poro Cannon is awesome, and then especially with these created cards and everything. Yeah, their deck looks really good. Alright, so we can grab Iterative Improvement again. Hmm, what do we copy? Make another Peddler. We can make it an aloof travelers. Or we could just make another archivist that makes another we could just kinda of go infinite. We have quick attack now, quick attack challenger. Get excited. I think we I can kill Victor. 
Archivist plus... I guess we're going to want to play Ballistic Bond. So we're going to want to be able to create an ignition next round. Sorry. Archivist plus Iterative Improvement is a really cool combination. No, go back. Attack with that. What are you doing? Come on, ain't gonna hurt nobody. We don't block with Teemo, do we? Like, the Teemo probably just trades with that anyway. I think I am. I, I just don't think that my Teemo is gonna be able to get through this thing anyway. Because we already know, like, in the top car, like, we, we already know that. Unless I guess our top card could be iterative improvement, but like we don't have we don't have like space for stuff anyway, right? Like we're gonna need we'd have to cover something up to begin with. But our top card could be iterative improvement, which could grab station archivist, which could grab get excited, which could get excited that thing. Okay, so they get a free attack somewhere. Well, I'm glad we helped out our nexus the most that we could, but. That's scary. So that's seven. Oh, it's just another archivist. So three, four, five. Direct damage. I think we grab it right now. Um, that's not what I was expecting. That's not what I was expecting. Okay, so if I... Okay, if we go grab, we could, you know, Archivist again and go grab the Get Excited, hit him for three, but then we don't have the mana to cast the Ignitions. So we lose there. All right, one, two, one, two, three, four, yeah. I think we're just gonna have to go back to my original plan. Give them puff caps. Then you improve perfection. We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. Ooh. We're gonna have another Captain Farron. All right, we attack out, we do three. I think this is my best chance. The top, I, I think the top cards get excited. I think it's a 50-50 shot. It's either the, 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 the this card or the next card. Oh, they had the MK2, so we're not doing three. Okay, well. much for the 50 50 shot being get excited mm, it's so it's the next card that was close good that was a really good game though that was a very good game i should have remembered that they had that card still all right we got timo mirror we got some puff caps coming our way they're going bandal city not built over and on I actually kind of like this. I like, you know, kind of being aggressive against them. Let's try this out. Hey, Tire Fox, welcome back. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of new cards. You've been you've been gone for the last expansion and a half. Cool, cool, cool. Hope you all enjoy it. So I like these mushroom uh, cloud cards for this matchup because. Well, I need to wrap my head around that it's Vandal City, not Piltover and Zon. <laughs> you know, I'm just so used to... we have I've played against Team of Sejuani so many times where it's... Uh, where it's Piltover and Zon. So I'm thinking, you know, they could have, like, Hex... You know, like, they're going to be, like, a Hexcore Foundry deck. 
And so I'm like, I want to keep my mushroom cards to give them pup caps for Hexcore Foundry, but that's just not... That's not what it's going to be like. There, Bandle City. Alright, that enables Harpoon. So good to kill that with the Harpoon. Don't get to Mystic Shot the Commando, unfortunately. But we can do that before they create a new Poison Dart. Oh, we made a Poppy Braum? Very good. Yeah, Poppy... Yeah, I like that. A lot of good stuff with Poppy and Braum. Together. I like that. It's just so many puff caps. I know I didn't do a very good job saving spell mana for Nami, but there's just so many puff caps. You own what you take. Don't those Helps a lot, but I mean this could all, this could be just like four. That's five damage. And still, you know, better than just cat like cast a decimate. So they're at 12. We know their next four cards have four puff caps, so that would be eight. And so this is three, four, five, six, seven damage right here. We can, if we don't draw this Mystic Shot immediately, we know the station, this Station Archivist can get hit another Mystic Shot. I think we're just going to be trying to race him damage-wise and just burn him out. Oh no, that top card was Mystic Shot. That's the only... Oh, that's too bad. That's like the only space we didn't want that... Because now we know the next four cards aren't spells. Oh man, that hurts. Alright, so we're at four out of five. That's bad. That's really bad. Please hurry. My people can't wait much longer. A missing piece? Watch your step. Leave me be. So that levels up Sejuani, the impact the is a very good attack yours. order. Impact crossbite. I want to wait one round before we're playing the Archivist to give me a little bit more chance of finding a burn spell. That mystic shot like down one more card. I don't know what it was. Oh, there are three. Okay, never mind. This isn't so bad. I don't think they can stop. Get excited. The same calling card from our other case. Right? They can't stop. Get excited, can they? 
are asking for me. Hope not. Just in case, playing the peddler first and maybe give him some more pop caps. Okay, cool. That's a bad one on one. I'm proud to call myself we just Tyler. burned him out <laughs> with tons of either puff cap or, or burn damage. So we only hit them for what, like three combat damage? Maybe? And then burn him out from 17? Another Sejuani deck. We're going to try to burn him out again before Sejuani heals us. Let's, we're definitely keeping Shell Shocker. I don't know. We haven't really seemed like a very good Nami deck. I guess I could see... Yeah, I could, we could see Mole getting Nami. Nami being just like something to play later on. And obviously that card too. We're keeping Shell Shocker though. The Thermo... I kind of want to send it back, but I could see keeping it. I'm not sure about that Thermo. Oh, I do not like having... All these get excited with nothing to discard. Hey there. Don't mind the knife. Okay, should have kept Thermo. Thermo would have just killed that. Open and then we wouldn't have taken one for their level up. Our opening hand was definitely better than this hand. I was hoping to find Ballistic Bot, Puff Cat Peddler. Those two cards are really important. But instead, they have done a great job leveling up their Sejuani and Gangplanks. Man. Alright, let's play this Jump Bomb. That gives me two Mushroom Clouds that we can use to discard for Get Excited. It's always tough whether to know, like, should we get excited and kill the monkey idol? Oh. Not doing it really helps out their champions, but it's gonna just get dis you know, it's gonna just kill itself anyway. <laughs> but it levels up the champions. Lucky you, I'm the last thing you'll see. Whiffed? <laughs> This is a really, really ugly hand for us. Wow. Living the life. Yordle Grifter hit Station Archivist, which hit something else. Living the life. So they're going to be able to level up their champions anyway, thanks to the monk the uh, powder monkey flesh was weak but look at me now system upgrade ballistic bot is just such a great hit for their deck like with their champions <laughs> you know just with sedjuani and everything like that's just insane Safety and just auto plunder enabler a ticket to the gun show This has been pretty bad. Oh, I like hard blocks Teemo. So my plan is to 
Hit him with Teemo next round. Leveled up Teemo. Oh, this doesn't... Oh, I shouldn't have... I should have only played one of those. I should have only just played one of those and played the Teemo. I was thinking get all of them so they have a better chance of drawing a puff cap. Doing? I don't have the mana for all this. Station Archive is missing, hurt pretty bad. A missing piece? Uh, excuse you. you spoil the surprise? It just gives them room to like play all the other stuff in their hands. They didn't have room for before. Like that. Reporting in. Come on, Timo. Alright, so I played those last four rounds pretty poorly. Can you then on. Okay, I was gonna say. Then a little bit on tilt for how this has worked out. So <laughs> this whole game's worked out. So I. I the Mirai will never misplayed. know fear again! Embrace the current or be swept away. I was thinking about this last round too that I really have to kill this ballistic bot. I didn't, and, and we'll see if that costs me because, you know, if I would have, we could have had one more life. But yeah, they just have enough next damage to finish it out. Have a mushroom. Have three. Ballistic bot, my own ballistic bot. Just have to keep trying. Killed me. I definitely should have hit at least once, or you know how it turned out multiple times with leveled up Teemo. I really misplayed that. But that is life. Okay. Love Puffcat Peddler for this matchup. I'm gonna mulligan Shell Shocker. Even though, like, we have the attack token in round one, and you know, Shell Shocker is a good one drop for round one, but. Against Karma Ezreal, I feel like we're just gonna wanna you know, like we're gonna need to be able to play like a longer game and everything, and I just don't think that, that two one is, is very important. We know that they'll have um 
you know, different cards to protect it. Sorry, I was, I was thinking with the Thermal Giant Beam. Sorry. We know they're going to have different cards that do, like, one damage, like Static Shock and stuff like that. So I just felt like getting rid of that. Okay, I... Uh, we'll just pass. I want a Thermal Giant Beam. I the Dragon. But I also want Puffcat Peddlers in play. So we're at a little bit of a standstill here. Have a mushroom. Have three. Okay. So probably a mistake playing the peddler first. Now I'm not gonna play this peddler until we definitely have a whole bunch of mushroom clouds first. That we can like you know that we can also like just mushroom cloud a bunch. Hey, what's up, Cora? Everything's going pretty good. I didn't necessarily play that last game the best, but that's how it is. All right, hopefully kill an Ezreal. All right, I'll trade. I'll trade three mana Monster Harpoon for four mana Will of Ionia. Basically, I guess like seven mana Will of Ionia. The world's a big place. Really? Let's see all of it. Alright, well that's another removal spell that's not hitting the peddler. Get the puff caps. Puff caps unleashed. Don't blink, or you miss me. Puff caps unleashed. They're just passing. I think I just open attack. I also play Karina and, and try to do like five damage to them with Karina, but then that allows them to play Karma. That's not that bad. All right, we'll play him. We'll play and activate. Will be my magnum opus. Wow, that is so good for us. They have nine puff caps in the top five guards. Wow, they are pretty dead. <laughs> but the top one has zero. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. Anyway. Yeah, might as well. Success is planting your mushrooms. Does help out um, concussive palms, but we have some line them up, knock them down, and stuff. Yeah, they did have exactly concussive palms. Be game. All right, GG Puffcat Peddler. Thank you, Peddler. That shows the power of the Peddler plus Karina combo. Peddler gives them those Puffcaps. Karina activates them. Darkness, but not playing the best Darkness card, playing Elise instead. Love me some Teemo, but this is, you know, like, I'm gonna do, I have, or I have spells that deal one damage guaranteed dot deck. You know, probably a catalog of regrets deck with a whole bunch of, uh, you know, Vile Feast, Puppet Stick, probably Go Hard also. I 
I like peddlers. Come closer. I don't bite. So young. Alright, so let's not play our our peddler into removal spell. I could try Teemo attack, but they could have Go Hard. Equinox. Well, I guess they have Equinox. Away, <laughs> yeah, there's Catalog. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start to die. We're in a tough spot. So they also want to pass and just create another go hard right now. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Oh, what? <laughs> Am I right? Some big text bo text boxes. Alright, makes that 15 real quick. Now Timo doesn't die. To go hard. Alright, so we have prank, prank, go hard. Make it much more difficult to empty my hand for Jinx. This thing's fast speed now, so that's gonna just be able to be fast speed kill Teemo. That's a fleeting go hard. Alright, so Senna's only at one. Ooh, quite a collection. Prepare for anything. Armed and ready. No. I'm hoping this card's a prank, not a go hard. Wait, really? Oh, is that has that thing always been fast speed? I guess maybe it is. Something on that case. I've always been a fun guy. 
All right, really, really hope they don't have another Senna. Really, really hope they don't have another Senna. Oh, that's that's so good for them to have, because then they could... Yeah, that just refills their hand completely. Because obviously I'm relying on this Jinx this round. Catalog of Regrets is awesome, man. This card is good. Too much free value over there. Okay, Jinx. Help me out. Because I need a lot of help. Their deck has... Near infinite cards, everything. More spells. They haven't played whatever card they created with the catalog. They haven't played it. That wasn't it. They're, so they're next. It was darkness. Now it's a party. As I suspected. Their next go hard, of course, is obviously a pack your bags. Alright, so they have 13. I guess if I... Yeah. Ooh. It's more exciting than an unsolved mystery. We kind of go infinite. Drawing those puff caps. Ooh, what's up, peddler? You could say no. I got a life. Got Let me get you that file. I think this is really the only option. Boom. Cool. They didn't like cast that and make a new one. All right, so this will put me down to seven. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna have lots of burn, right? I think that's okay. Have a mushroom. Have three. They grow up so fast. I'm gonna want to open attack here. The same calling card from our other case. Yes, yeah, so they're gonna create. Two more darkness that round starts, so they'll, they'll be able to shoot both of those. They can block like Peddler, they take four. I think it's better to shoot that than shoot them. So that's just a card for get excited to discard. Don't have any warning shots. This puts them down to seven. I'm doing this right now so the peddler can give them three more puff caps. Concentrated forgiveness. We just need them to draw two puff caps. We know one of our very next cards, I think I think our next card is Mystic Shot. Either the next card or the card after is Mystic Shot. Draw puff caps. Alright, let's go ahead and take out Senna. That'll probably buy me more time. Now, iterative improvement. Nami. You don't really help Nami. Just as I 
Protected. And they are not drawing any puff caps. Obviously, a huge, huge problem. Okay, so they have another one in hand. That wasn't the extra one, was it? I don't think it was. Good draw. Okay, so Nami to I will find the moonstone. I will save my people. My people are counting on me. Let the tide carry you. Like what are those three cards they're chilling with in hand over there? I thought I had Mystic Shot here. I thought this was Mystic Shot, not get excited. I played this so I could Mystic Shot the Otterpus. That's a mistake by me. Please hurry. My people more I guess we can still do this, though. Mystery. So actually, this isn't that bad. We just put the Station Archers in our hand. Actually, this isn't... Alright, this isn't bad. We're good, we're good. Why? Okay, so stunning those right now. Like, are they doing that so Catalog of Regrets create some of those? Because we can still open attack. It doesn't add up. I can't back down. Come on, come on. That still wins the game. All right. Wow, pretty awesome. All right, got there. I'm proud to call myself Thank you, Station Archivist plus Iterative Improvement. That was the only reason why we won that game was Station Archivist Iterative Improvement. That's for sure. That combo was crazy good for us that whole time. My opponent just didn't have any kind of like card to win the game, right? Like they like the catalog of regrets were awesome. They just needed like one top end card, you know, like a, I don't know, like a harrowing, a ledros, you know, like anything like that. They just needed something. Our deck was pretty cool, pretty cool. Got that three two. Um, you know, it's just something a little different. You know, we had like a little bit of everything. I'd have to say I was actually the least impressed with Nami in our deck. I actually liked the Teemos a lot. I liked the Jinxes a lot. Um, that was actually the card. I was su surprised that that was the card that I was the least impressed with was we just weren't really a good Nami deck. So we weren't, we didn't have like elusives or anything like that. And just, um, saving spell mana was, was pretty difficult as we found. I kind of feel like I would rather the Nami be like Caitlyn or Ezreal. You know, like we have, you have really good choices here. You know, like the Caitlyn gives, gives you a really good quick attack unit that, uh, you know, just will give you some more traps and stuff like that. Ezreal, of course, can create Mystic Shots that help you in the late game and everything like that, too. I kind of feel like I would rather have one of those two over the Nami. I think I think that's like uh, that's one thing that the Nami didn't really feel like it fit. 
Um, but besides that, everything else was pretty good. Station Archivist really looked good there with Iterative Improvement. Man, that's a combo we need to just play more of because that's that's super cool for the really, really late game like that. But obviously, Puffcat Paddler did its thing. I, you know, in 3 2, we lost the Gameplank Sejuani. I think that I could have maybe won against the Gameplank Sejuani or put myself in a lot better position with the Teemo's attack. And I was, I was a little bit on tilt there. I, I didn't play that one the best. Um, but, you know, we'll we'll take three twos. Karina actually looked really good, too, with the Karina with the Puff Cat Peddler, um, you know, doing a lot of damage um, with that. So, yeah, just all, you know, all sorts of burn spells, stay alive, just kind of throw out, like, some random cards they didn't, wouldn't really expect. Ballistic Bot looked good. Um, but, yeah, the Iterate Improvement definitely looked real good. So, pretty cool. I think that's one change, though. I think minus Nami... And if you have a preference on either one of these two, I think they both work really well. Whichever one you like more, if you like one over the other, I would be very happy with Ezreal in this deck, and I'd be very happy with Caitlyn in this deck. Um, you know, so again, either way. Caitlyn and Jinx kind of give you like those quick attacks, make it make your opponent's life more difficult. Whichever one you want. But I'd go, I'd go either one over Nami. All right, but that's going to be it here for Timo Nami Jinx, or maybe in the future, Timo Caitlyn Jinx, or Timo Ezreal Jinx. Um, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button, leave those comments, let me know which champion do you like the best out of these and why. And hopefully y'all enjoyed it, just kind of playing some different cards here. Puppy. <laughs> oh, there's Puppy. <laughs> I tell Puppy wanted to come up here and say hi. Yes, leave those comments, let me know, and let Puppy know too. Puppy would be happy about that. But of course, Puppy always says thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you for the next video.